Shalom. Call Halal Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash. That were honest to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught us this truth and rule well. Salutations and salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring, laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and freedom to do so. To you I say Shalom, to the Akiam and to the Akwath, that will be you brothers and sisters, Adawan Ratazah, that is to say Lord willing. Hopefully by the end of this lesson you'll be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ibad back again with another video, another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to feed the lambs of Yahweh Wah, Yahweh Shai as commanded. Um, this video, all through the spirit, is going to be going through, uh, going, going into all through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai of, um, you know, Babylon, you know. Can we get any justice here? Um, we know the world is a wicked, evil place, man, because our Lord our Lord told us that, man. St. John, the seventh chapter, okay, in the seventh verse, okay, where it says, The world can't hate you, but me it hate it, because I testify of it that the works thereof are evil, man. Okay? So, in a wicked society, man, you're not really going to get true justice, man. You get some form of justice, but are you going to get true justice? See, that's the thing. People are trying to give you their version of justice, but at the end of the day, the scriptures say we ought to obey the Most High rather than men. So the Most High's justice is the real, true justice, man, at the end of the day. You know? And um, I was just strolling through my phone. I was reading. I saw an article just now, and I start reading it. And I was going into this this new uh, this new justice uh, that they are um, trying trying to nominate. You know, the new justice where they trying to, to nominate. Um, but it's 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 an article that says Trump on KBJ. It says if she can't say what a woman is, how can she say? What the Constitution is, so this is um, Brett Bart News. This was uh, yesterday. Let me put a quick disclaimer out there. I don't own, uh, nor I have the rights to this uh, article. Uh, this is just for educational purposes. So Fair Use Act under one uh, one hundred seven, under Chapter one hundred seven. Okay, Fair Use Act. This is this is this is not for monetary gain. This is just for educational purposes. But I guess Trump had a uh, a, a rally uh, a few days, a few days pass, I guess. I want to say or probably over the weekend, and he went into this thing here with this lady. And he said she she not able to um, um, determine uh, slack here, uh give the definition of a woman. You know how can then she handle these different. You know, procedures. You know? Well, let me just read some of the some of the article. It says, Trump on KBJ. If she can't say what a woman is, how can she say what the Constitution is? And you read on, it says, Former President Donald Trump told thousands of supporters in Commerce, Georgia, on Saturday night that if Supreme Court uh, nominee Ketanji Brown Jackson cannot define woman, she cannot interpret the plain language of the Constitution. So, <laughs> this is the world that we live in, though. You know? So, how are you? you I mean, everything you can't mention, you can't, they don't want a, a man to be a real man. Okay? They want you to come as you are, do as you will. Right? I mean, it's, it's just pure madness, man. It's pure madness, man. Let's read some more of the article. Right? I'm going to read some more of the article. It says, um, <laughs> uh, let me see. It says, Trump was reacting to Judge Jackson's bizarre refusal to define the word woman. 
in her conf confirmation hearings last week at the Senate Ju Ju Judiciary, Ju Judiciary Committee to, f to define the word woman when asked to do so by Senate Marsha Blackburn, um, okay, I want to say Republican Tennessee. It says to ja through Judge Jackson claimed to be something of an originalist who looks to the plain meaning of words in the Constitution and the law before making her own interpretation. Her refusal to define a common word suggested otherwise. The article says, it says, Trump told his audience, the left has become so extreme that we are now, that we now have a justice being nominated to the Supreme Court who testified under oath that she cannot say what a woman is. If she can't even say what a woman is, how on earth can she be trusted to say what the Constitution is? And I'm not going to read any more on this article, you know? I'm not going to read any more on this, on this article right here. But, I mean, just, uh, I mean, you get, you get the understanding of where that's, where that's going. And it's like, you can't, come on, man. <laughs> You're gonna say a, 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 a female, okay? The opposite of male, you know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Such as, such as an aunt, a mother, or a daughter. The, op the opposite human uh, uh, of a male, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it was just simple. By, by definition, you know? Is actually servant. As a woman is a servant. That's that's what it is. You know. But I mean, I mean, for a position like that to not be able to to do so, or if you if you can't if you can't do it if you can't define it, okay, how could you get a position like that? But not not only that, if you know it and don't want to say it, it just gives you it shows you the type of world that we live in. Like you can't speak freely. You know what I'm saying? And that's supposed to be the in the Constitution of freedom of speech. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, you live in a world where you gotta walk on eggshells, man. You know what I'm saying? It's ridiculous. But anyway, <laughs> man, let, let's try to get some scriptures, you know? I ain't got too much more time, but I just, I was just reading that and I was like, man, this, this, this place is through, man. It's just pure madness. Okay? It's just pure madness, man. Okay? And the scripture tells you, man, uh, Proverbs 29 and 2, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn, man. You could just, you could do anything. These people are comfortable with anything, man. They're comfortable with anything. Anything goes in their society. Okay? All right, let me try and see if I can get uh, a scripture or two. Uh, I'm thinking about, uh, I think it's, do you indeed, let me see. Bear with me, I'm looking for a scripture, I believe it's where, I think it's in the Psalms, Psalms 58, somewhere that do you indeed speak righteousness? Let me see. Um, I think I think it's Psalm 58. Let me go. To, let me go to it. Um, come, on. this is Psalms 58 and one. All right, to the chief musician. Altashet Mitcham Mitcham of David. It says, "Do ye indeed speak righteousness, O congregation? Do ye judge uprightly, O ye sons of men?" And we know <laughs> these people don't judge righteously, man. Okay. It says, "Yea, in heart ye work wickedness; ye weigh the violence of your hands in the earth." All right. It says, the wicked are estranged from the womb. 
they go astray as soon as they be born speaking lies. But the point of this is, is the verse 1. Do you indeed speak righteousness? O congregation, do you judge uprightly, O ye sons of men? Right? At the end of the day, we know the most High's justice is true justice, man. You know, at the end of the day, you know, the most High's justice is, is, is the true justice, man. So you might, you might, you might, um, you, you, you might enact something, um, what you feel, you know, what you feel is appropriate, <laughs> but in the sight of the Lord, that mightn't be enough. That mightn't measure up. You know, because as we know, as the scriptures say, his ways is above our ways. Okay? So the, 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 that true justice will be uh, the Lord's way, you know, what the Lord have written. And that, that's found in the scriptures. You know? But like, like, I, like I say, man, at the, at, the, at the end of the day, the world that we live in right now, we, we see what's going on, man. You, you, it, it's... <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Anything, basically, anything goes, man. These people are all right with every. They all right with any and everything, man. Be who you are, do as you will, and they good with it, man. You know, the alphabet lifestyle is just they just pushing that on the people. You know, 24/7 on on your TV, in these commercial ads, everywhere you look, you know. Sab, last past Saturday we 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 was uh <laughs> at camp and that the the uh you know they had this big festival going on the ultra fest and so much moles you know was was in that area is is ridiculous man I mean they they dressed in every form of costume and I mean you can't tell the woman from the man and the man from the woman the, the way they you know it's just Sodom and Gomorrah all over again, man. And that's why the Lord say he, he can bring fire, man. You know? We live in the time of the prophecies, man. Prophecies going forth. And 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 people gonna people gonna get burned in that lake of fire, man. Okay? Because they wanna continue in wickedness and in, in evilness. They wanna continue in that wicked way. You know? Burning in their lust. You know? <laughs> It's, it's ridiculous, man. But I mean, in this society, they, this, I mean, they push this. They literally push this. Okay. It's it's ridiculous, man. That's why we need we need our Lord to return. We need the kingdom. <laughs> we need the kingdom, man. Yeah. We need the kingdom, man. That's where that's where you are gonna get uh, uh, true justice, man. Uh, 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 uh. And, and, and the laws could go forth righteously, man. Uh, let's go to the book of Peter. Second Peter. That, that, that comes to mind. The book of Second Peter. Second uh, Peter chapter 3 and verse uh, 13. It says, Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and the new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. And that's what we need. We need the kingdom. We need the Lord to return. Okay. All right, to, to to set this world right side up, man, because this place is polluted, man. Micah two and ten tell you that. Arise, arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, for it is polluted, and it would destroy you even with a sword of destruction. This place is polluted, man. Okay, clearly, man, it's not it's not going around, man. What I saw this past Saturday with all this alphabetical, you know. All over the place, man. It, it, it felt like he was in a total different. I mean, like he was in a different world. Like, you know, that shit looked like the like he was in in the metaverse or some shit, man. You know, these filthy people everywhere, man. You know, but the most I most I got something for them though. Most I got something for them at the end of the day, you know. He tell you about it in, in, through the scriptures. The lake of fire, man. That's real. And that's going to happen. That's a future prophecy. <laughs> All right? Yeah. Hey, man. So, hey. Nevertheless, we are calling to his promise. Look for new heavens and a new earth where it dwelleth righteousness, man. So, that's what we're looking for, man. That's our, that's our, um, 
That's that's what comforts us. Okay? The man of the Lord. You know? Like-minded brothers who love uh, our Lord's appearing, man. You know, and the sisters that believe on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know? I believe in this truth. You know? We want to be delivered, man, to the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We want salvation. We need the kingdom to come because, trust me, what's going on in this earth today? <laughs> You better hope that you 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 praying and 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 doing everything to please Yahweh Bashim Yahushai because if you're outside the covering of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, it's not going to be pretty for you, man. All right. So with that, I'm gonna end the lesson there. Hopefully, this was edifying. I'm gonna give all honor, glory, and praise unto Yahweh Bashim Yahushai Bashim Akakodash. Double dollars to the elders of the apostles of Great Millstone who taught me the truth and rule well. Salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth and truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. Until the next time, Shalom.